this world is such a, um, and when I say this world, I mean it. I don't mean in an ideal sense. I mean in uh, every day, every little thing you do. It's such a, gimme, gimme, gimme. Yep. Everybody back off. You know, everybody's like, you taught that from school, everywhere, big business. You want to be successful? You want to be like Trump? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Push, 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 push. Step, step, step. Crush, crush, crush. That's how it all is. And it's like, nobody ever stopped. Just, you know, I feel like, instead of us just being like, slavery's bad, slavery's bad, bad whitey, bad whitey. I mean, all right, let's stop that. And everybody's smart enough to know that, I mean, we've been slighted. And we want ours. And I don't mean by, like, uh, ours, 40 acres and a mule, because we passed that. But we need help. I mean, for us to be on our own two feet, us meaning youth or us meaning black people, whatever you want to take it for. For us to be on our own two feet, we do need help. Because we have been here. We have been a good friend. If you want to make it a relationship type thing, we have been there. And now we deserve our payback. It's like you got a friend that you don't never look out for. You know, you dressed up in jewels. Now America's got jewels and they got they paid and everything. And they lending money to everybody except us. And it's like, you know, everybody need a little help on, on their way to being, you know, self-reliant. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole thing about the album, about the Special Olympics. Everybody need a little something and they to be independent. No independent person just grew up and was born independent. You worked and you learned teamwork and you learned cooperation and unity and struggle and then you became independent. Wow. And we have to teach that and instill that. And why is it that they want to do that? I mean, if this is truly a melting pot in the country where we care about and Lady Liberty got a hand like this, she really loves us, then we really need to be like that. And it needs to be the black kids. If there's a, a white person who got money, then you need to help them. He need to help black kids, Mexican kids, Korean kids, whatever. But it needs to be real. And it needs to be before we all die and then you say, oh, I made a mistake. We should have gave them some money. We really should have helped these folks. It's going to be too late. You know what I'm saying? And then that's when you got to pay your own karma. And that's when God make you punish. When, you, when God punishes you. Because I feel like, you know, it's too much money here. I mean, nobody should be hitting lotto for $36 million and we got people starving in the streets. That is not idealistic. That's just real. That is just stupid. There's no way Michael Jackson should have, or whoever Jackson, should have a million thousand, triple billion dollars and then there's people starving. There's no way. There's no way. That these people should own planes and their people don't have houses, apartments, shacks, drawers, pants. When you say to people and say, well, they earned it, now you go out and you're earning it. If they earned it, then I, then I think that that's good and I, I think that they deserve it. But even if you earned it, you still owe. Because look at me, I'm not, I don't have that mega money, but I feel guilty walking by somebody. I, I got to give them some mail. And if I know I got $3,000 three, $3, in my pocket, I feel like it's wrong to give that person a quarter. Or a dollar. It's wrong. Only you know what you got in your pocket. And that's wrong. No matter what they do, if they take it and drink it, they take it and drink it. But I mean, you got. You understand? And we all know how hard it is. And it's not about if you're good or you're bad. So since it's not about if you're good or you're bad, we know that because he don't got, don't mean he was bad. Or don't mean he's a criminal. Or don't mean he's crazy. Or a drug addict. Or none of that. It just means he don't got. And ain't it bad that you got. 30, I mean, can you imagine somebody having $32 million? 32, 32 million dollars, and this person has nothing, and you can sleep, you can still go to the movies about, I mean, I mean, and then these, these are the type of people that get humanitarian awards, millionaires, how can they be humanitarians by the fact that they're millionaires, and there's so many poor people shows how unhumane they are. You know what I'm saying? And that, that bugs me. Not saying that when I'm never going to be rich and I'm never, you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying it's a struggle and I think everybody deserves. And I think there's a way to pay these people. I think there is a way. It just takes to be revolutionary and it takes to, to do something out of the ordinary. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that if we just said, okay, 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 I got an idea. No more porno buildings. You know what I'm saying? Let's build houses or no more polo games let's build houses for poor people you know what i'm saying or look okay i know you're rich i know you got 40 billion dollars but can you just keep it to one house you only need one house and if you only got two kids can you just keep it to two rooms i mean why well, have 52 rooms and you notice somebody with no room it just don't make sense to me it don't and then these people celebrate christmas they got big trees huge trees all the little trimmings everybody got gifts and it's somebody starving and they're having a white Christmas. They're having a great Christmas. Eggnog and the whole nine. That's not fair to me. <laughs> Yo, man, 
I love Tupac, you guys. I love Tupac. You know, I can't lie to you. Pac, he was way too smart. Like, he was way ahead of his time. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was just a genius. He was blessed. He was blessed by God. You know what I'm saying? With his ability to articulate it himself. You know what I'm saying? How he spoke. Like, just... He was a genius, you guys. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And also, Pac, he was about the people. He was for the people. You know what I'm saying? He looked out for those that didn't have anything. Listen, he rapped about like shit that goes on on the streets, pain, hunger, all all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Homelessness. Like he rapped about all that shit in his music. You know, it tells us that, yes, he was for the people. He cared for the people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, Pac had money. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had money. He was rich. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had income. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, he was an actor, a rapper. All, but he had money coming in. But at the same time, too, he gave his money to those that didn't have anything. He gave money out, you know what I'm saying? He held events, like, he was a real humble guy, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was a real dude. He was loved, he was loved, and at the same time, too, he was hated by a few motherfuckers, okay? You know, like, he was for the people. He was out there on the streets, helping out other people, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I love Pac, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, Real talk, man. And nowadays, bro, folks, folks now stop about me, 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 me. Nobody else. Guys, we have lost the, the sense of urgency to help other people. We have lost that urgency now. It's all about me, 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 all oh, everything, me, 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 me. And nobody else. That is wrong. We have to help each other out. If someone if if someone is struggling or homeless, help them out if you can. I'm not saying like oh if you don't have nothing, but if you have something, you know what I'm saying, help them out. It could be a dollar, anything, help them out. Okay? You know what I'm saying, help help those that are um um struggling. Help. Help out, man. If you have it, help, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not going to hurt. Just help other people out, you know, like. So, guys, we have to get back to that sense of urgency to actually help other people out, you know what I'm saying? Because how can you have someone on the streets, like, in pain, suffering, like, out, like out here right now, it's cold. Out here right now, out here right now. It's cold in my states. It's cold, you know what I'm saying? Outside, it's cold. Look, look, you guys see? And I do have a cold right now, you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, you know, like, every time I drive by, I see some homeless folks on the streets standing outside with, you know what I'm saying? Like, in this school, I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn, man. That's tough. Yo, it's hard to be homeless, man. It's, it's hard, especially if you live in a cold state, that it's cold out here. And you have to go outside and and stand on the streets and beg for money in this cold. It's hard. It ain't easy. But you know what? They have to do it. Because that's how they get by every single day. You know what I'm saying? On the street asking for money out. That's You know what I'm saying? Yes, I know. Like, yes, listen, guys. I know, like, I know some people, you know what I'm saying, are to blame on why... They are homeless out to blame. I get that, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we are human beings. We are made from the image of God. We have to show compassion to our fellow mankind. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Pac, Pac, that's what Pac did in his days. You know what I'm saying? That's what he did. 
as you guys just watch the interview, you know, man. But anyway, you guys, um, yeah, I have to go, yo. You know what I'm saying? I'm to go sleep because you know I'm a little sick, baby. Okay, so guys, um, make sure you subscribe. Okay, I'm out.